Satan knows. I just need to alter your heart. Then what you see becomes also altered. Come, come man of God, come, come. This is going to help you to understand something that we are talking about right now. Come man of God, come man of God. Come man of God. Please stand right here. He is representing God. I'm not saying he is God. The internet nowadays is weird. <laughs> he is representing God. And all these other men and women that are up here, they are representing where we are positioned in God and how we see God. Some people, based on their calling and their assignment, they see God from behind. They have never seen his face. They have never seen anything to do with his mouth. They don't even know if he has a mouth. They don't know if he has ears. They can just see that he's strong and big. So all he knows about God is how God is from the back. Then there is another Afro samurai on this side who sees God from this angle whereby he sees God from the back but he sees God's one strong left hand. So he says, I have seen God. He has two hands and he is strong. He has no face. When you look at him, he has no face. He doesn't say anything. God just stands strong. Boy. But he's saying, okay, I have never seen his face either. Mm -hmm. But I don't know about him having two hands. I have only seen him have one hand. Come on. I hope you are following me. Teach, teach. I hope you are following me. She also says, you know what? You are saying you have seen God's left hand, but I have, God doesn't have a left hand. God only has a right hand. And I've seen his right leg. So when he says, I will hold you by my right hand, it means that God only has a right hand. But you, in scripture, and I'm just saying this hypothetically, you have never seen where it says God has a left hand. Yet it says, in your right hand has power and your left hands are pleasures forevermore. So you know God to only have the left hand and he can give you joy and pleasure. But how witness is God doesn't give you pleasure. God is a God of power and judgment. Because I've only seen his right hand, his strong hand. But he's saying, well, I have seen him have both hands. What are you guys talking about? You guys don't even talk about his face. I have seen his face. He has no face. Are you listening? Yeah. Then she sees the same God and says, well, I have seen his right hand, but I have seen also his chest where he can give us rest, you know. But I have seen part of his face with only one ear. That's why he can shut his ear from you. And I've seen him only have one eye. And I've seen his mouth. I've never really seen him. You know, when you see somebody from one angle, even if they smile, you can't tell if they are smiling or they are grinning or whatever. He said, I've just seen him like once in a while. Green. I've never seen his back, but I've seen his part of his face and his eyes are scary. I've never seen him smile or anything like that. So this one says, you are a liar. God has no face. Come on. This one says, you guys are crazy. You're saying you've seen his chest. God is spirit. He has no chest. I've only seen how strong he is from the back. This one says, you are out of your mind. He only has a left hand. Notice we are talking about the same person. Come on. But based on your dispensation, see. based on where you're standing, see. it determines how you see him. Come on. Shh. Sit for two seconds. Then he's standing a little bit farther 
where he says, you know what? I have seen God also from his left side. And what I have seen, I observed his left hand. And I saw that he has a wedding ring. So God is married to us. He will never leave us nor forsake us. I believe he's married to us. But him standing from here is like, God married to, the, to man. God is ready to judge man because man is guilty. Man is this, man is that. Man needs to fix themselves. But based on where he stands, he has known God to be a good husband man who takes care of his bride, who will help him stay righteous. He hasn't seen the whole of God, but he bears witness to what she has seen, even though they haven't seen the same thing. But he has something extra. I saw him married to the church. Are you listening? Now, she argues with him now. God, yes, a God has a left hand. Maybe he has, he, he may, God has a left hand. But I know for sure he has a right hand. But to say God is married to the church, you're crazy. How can God be married to the church? Now there's an argument there, there's a debate. Are you listening? Then there is one with dreads. He sees him face to face, mouth to mouth. Come on. Now what he sees... They have never seen. Come on. Come on. You're teaching it. You're teaching it. So he says, guys, he actually talks to me. I have heard him. I've been with him. I have seen his left hand. I've seen his right hand. I have seen his face. He has the most beautiful smile. He has embraced me. I have sat at the table with him. I have been with him. Then these guys now are like, you are crazy. You want to say God talks. No, God only sent me a letter. God doesn't have a mouth. God doesn't speak. Come he on. doesn't. Come on. Oh, and you're teaching. Now, remember, all these arguments are because everyone in this group is judging God by what they have seen on, teaching. or what they have looked at with their eyes but not what they have seen with their heart yeah. because they determine that what I have looked at is all that there is but if they looked at God from the heart then they would have sensed and experienced what everyone has said, even though it is not direct or the same, they would feel the personality and the character of God. Yeah. So that when she believes in his message and builds a better picture of God, what happens is from where she is, she will see God like this. Come on. Hallelujah. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Come on. But the problem is, Satan is making you stick to what you looked at, but not what you have seen with your heart. God forgave you, but you cannot see that God can forgive others. God delivered you, but you cannot believe God can deliver others. Because they are not like you or they didn't do what you... I don't know if you're understanding what I'm saying. Now the issue is when all these guys are arguing, they're saying you, you are heretic. How can you say you've looked at him, seen him? Nobody can see God and live and all this. I have only seen him from the back like Moses saw him. So there's all these arguments. They are young souls that are trying to come to where God is. So that they see God. Come on. But they cannot see God because they are waiting for what you will say. To build a picture in their heart. Hallelujah. Of who God is. Come on. So that they can walk to God. Come on. And they can have their position however God has determined for them. Yeah. To see God. 
But because of infighting of things don't make sense. These guys are now like, man, if that's what it's about, I don't even want it. Let me just turn around and... 